What is up everybody, Rob here, back with another episode of Wasting Wild Cards here on Malta 5. And this week, I have finally got all the wild cards I needed to make elves in Historic. And you know what? It turns out I wasted all these wild cards because it is not the best tribe. As you all probably know, Goblins has taken its rightful throne in Historic. But you know what? It would be called Wasting Wild Cards if I didn't always play the wrong deck. But I did it. Anyway, elves. What do we have from Jumpstart that makes elves the deck I wanted to play the most? Well, we got Elasaur Shepherd as an awesome one drop. It protects our cards from being countered, and it also works as a late game win condition, kind of like Azuri Renegade Leader did in Modern. You pay six mana, your whole team becomes five fives plus whatever Lord effects are on the field, and you just bash in for a bunch of damage. So, great one drop, serves an awesome role. It's a great card. Um, we've got Dwine's Elite, which may seem unassuming on the surface, but getting two bodies for the price of one is super, super powerful when you have lords. First of all, you just they are large bodies. That's five power with just one lord. Um, Marwyn gets two triggers, and uh, Elvish Archdruid taps for two instead of one more. So lots of synergy, good stuff there. We've got Elvish Archdruid. Uh, one of the best lords, if not the best lord in the Elves tribe. It can tap for a ton of mana on as soon as turn three. And this card has kind of replaced Marwyn as my like explosive mana accelerant. And it's also a lord. So it's just, it is just great all around. I'm so pumped to have Archdruid in the format. And we've got Big Daddy Crater of Behemoth. Um, Endry's Forerunners was cute and all, and it won us some games, but... Plus two plus two is not plus ten plus ten haste trample, you're dead. So Crater Hoof was the key piece that all elves decks need, except Legacy. They play like Progenitus, and let's just let's just let's forget about that. Um, but yeah, this deck is so fun, and when it goes off, it just feels mmm. I love it. Uh, so let's play some games and see how it does. What's up, everybody? Here we are with game one, and this is a bad this is a bad hand, and we're gonna mulligan this right away. This is a very okay to great hand, so we are 100% going to keep this. Keeping this, we're going to put back one of the Beast Whispers and red. That's not what we like to see with elves, not at all. Okay, so. Oh, goblins. Okay, this is going to be. It's going to be a race. <laughs> And a lot of our key pieces are not in hand yet. So, uh... So next turn, I can hopefully not die. Oh, Cranko on top. God, this Goblin's deck is just bonkers. Yep. Bunch of hasty Goblins. Nope. Alright, so we're really gonna have to, um... Really gonna have to do some work here. So let's... Let's start drawing. Uh, do we want to get a Lord out so we can at least block a little bit? Probably. God, we are so screwed. <laughs> this deck is insane. Oh, man. That's so much damage. That's so, what is this, turn four? <laughs> Wow, this deck is... All right, well, hey, you know what? Game one going against the real... The real deal. I guess we should just... Nah, screw it, whatever. We'll take it. We're going to lose this anyway, so let's just... See what we can do with four life. Nope, that's... I wanted to play the land first. All right, well, that was a... That was a rude awakening capital R. So let's bring the Hydras in. Let's see if this is even a remotely good sideboard plan. Marwyn seems weak. We want our Lords. We want blockers. Shepherd, we can probably go down one or two just because what's a 1-1 one, one gonna do? Ugh, this is a bad time. And then we'll go down one Whisper just because it's expensive and we want to stay lean. And our, uh, our big boy Hydra is kind of the only meaty mana sink we really want in the deck, so we don't want too much expensive stuff. Definitely playing first. Oh, 
Uh, I hate mulliganing. This deck, if we had the Pioneer Elf base, ooh, ooh, eight one drop. That's what we need. We need the, we need the Elvish Mystic. <sighs> Is it turn two visionary too slow? Probably. I just we have such a small chance of drawing land war elves if we mulligan and we have two lords and a card draw so i think we have to keep this but this is a very very feel bad keep so i think that is probably what's keeping this deck from becoming a true tier one contender because if we had like the consistency of eight mana dorks i mean that would be bonkers because then we would still have the uh, ley line. Yes, the ley line. Ugh, it's been a while. My brain's starting to fall apart. All right, so they're not quite popping off the way they were before. We can finale for a one drop, but I do not want to do that because that's not great. And I'll attack, I guess. It's 2-2 two -two now. Next turn, I'll have two lords, which will protect me from... No! Chain Whirler. <laughs> Hoy vey. All right, so I can surge up a two drop now. Is there a two drop in my deck that I even want? This is embarrassing. This is not making elves look. This is not making elves look good. I'll tell you that much. Frexian Tower. All right, yeah. Get up to your six drop guy. That's gonna win you the game right now. Muxus. This is the card that I don't think anybody really thought was going to be as bonkers as he is. Thank God there is a mountain on the top of that deck. So if for people who are unfamiliar, people usually play Muxus. They get all their goblins haste. They have a scoop and then the scoop sees the top of the deck and then he taps and you make a billion things and bada bing bada boom. All right. So what is this? Four mana? One. So you can do this for Two. I kind of hate how Arena does one, two, three, four, five. So I can X for three. Yes. <sighs> I wish I could. Uh, wish I could do more. So them not having a scoop is pretty good, but they'll probably have another one in hand. They can make so much mana. God, this is this deck is so insane. <laughs> Man, if if ever a deck was pushed intentionally or unintentionally, this is all right. We're just, we're just gonna we're gonna get out of this one quick because that's 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 rough that is that's uh i'll drink i'll drink to that one what is up everybody here we are with game two hopefully not gonna get ran over by goblins um i'm gonna keep this it's not great but i mean turn two visionary hopefully we can kind of go from there maybe we draw into a land or elf i'm gonna keep it just because i want to <sighs> mulliganing against the elves Sultai is not elves. All right, I'm good. We're good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I shouldn't be excited because they're probably just going to sweep the floor with me, literally, with sweepers. But uh, yeah, not having to worry about goblins is uh, it's a good place to be when you're playing Historic because it's so, so rarely something that you can actually avoid. God damn, Kethis. Well, I uh, I don't know how fast Historic Kethis can win, but let's find out right now, I guess. Mm-hmm. They don't have the other amber. We lucked out. They didn't have another amber. All right, so we kind of have like 
one chance cannot miss our shot. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Um, so this needs four mana to tap and go. So I can go Incubation Druid. I think I fucked this up. Eh, it'll work fine. Not fine. It'll work. Then we'll go Beast Whisperer. Then we'll go Dwine's Elite, draw a card. Still can't favorably attack through. Um, so we're in an okay spot here if our opponent doesn't go off this turn. Don't mill an amber, don't mill an amber, don't mill an amber. All right, well, they can cast a uh, Kaya's enchantment. I forgot what that thing's called. It's not Kaya's Wrath. What do you call it? Oath of Kaya. We might actually... Ooh, their lack of Mox Ambers is actually potentially going to let us go the distance here. Ooh, and we can start with the Castle Garenbrig. So let's go Lord, draw a card. Another Lord, a draw a card. Draw two cards. All right, and then we got... nine mana so we'll play mm, i probably should have started with the beast whisperer but what are you gonna do if i draw crater hoof right now nah let's go beast whisperer okay so let's think here i have five mana available let's leave the stampede Submit to. Draw two more cards. <laughs> so this has been fun um, until our opponent just beats us next turn, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, might as well just attack with all these thick boys. It's 9, 18, so that's, they gotta block with something. Not that they really care about throwing their excavators here. Okay, so that was smart on our opponent. They threw the Lazav, so now they can cast Lazav from their graveyard... Hmm. So they get the Mox Amber here. Which they still don't. We are very lucky. We are very, very lucky. Yeah, our opponent... They can't do anything. I think they just... I don't know what they can... Wait. Did they have three mana? Um, Cat, this makes him cheaper. Okay. Oh. They still don't have an amber. Okay. I. Oh, wait, no. They, where'd that come from? Oh, they bounced their own fucking amber. <sighs> so... As long don't get more ambers, hopefully. All right. God, no, I think they can win now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh 
just gonna chill back here and uh I'll, I'll i'll fast forward this for you all right our opponent didn't mess up and they're gonna play jace and they're gonna win so uh yeah let's go into game two <laughs> So that's unfortunate. We we had many a chance to draw into our win condition there, but we didn't. So scavenging news, very good, very good. Rexage can blow up Amber, which doesn't do anything. Uh, so I think I just bring the oozes in. Maybe go down. Shepard's not bad here because I can, if I drew a Shepard a little bit early last game, I could have pumped my whole team a little sooner and gone in for the win. Incubation Druid is okay. And you never know when you need that little bit extra ramp. Hmm. Maybe we go down a Beast Whisperer and like, mm, uh, Dwine's Elite? Like that? Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's see if Mr. Scoozy can eat up some yum-yums. Because if we have a lot of mana, we cast a Scavenging Ooze, it goes and eats stuff. That's not what I want. We're going to mulligan that. It's not great, but I'm going to keep it. That's, that's for sure. Turn 2 Incubation Druid. Not great. It's not great. I'm actually going to keep the three mana here just because I, I don't want to risk not hitting the land drops I need here. Because if I can get into Beast Whisperer on turn three, that's probably going to be our only chance to kind of catch up. Because if I go Beast Whisperer, Visionary, Visionary, that's a lot of cards. That's that's a fold up hand again. Fold up, filled up. Cool, Sure. Mm, yep, 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 yep. All right, let's hope our opponents go off. They had a very good start, so... Uh... Goblins into Kethis. Cool. Great. I love it. Goddamn. Goblins into Kethis. It's like, hey, what's not fun for people to play? Goblins into Kethis. Let's draw another. Well, we've no shortage of uh, lords in our hand now. If we draw a land, we can play every single one of them next turn. Kethis is such a cool deck. And it's one that I would just imagine hating to play. Like, it is so far from what I like to do. Combos are sweet and all, but this one, I don't know. Anything that takes so long to finally win, I'm just like, I don't know. It's not for me. I just like creatures, if you couldn't tell. Big fan of creatures. Well, let's attack Tamio. Do something, hopefully. All right. Still don't have a Kethis yet. Scavenging use would be an awesome draw because I could just start gobbling up that graveyard. Boy, would that feel good. Fairy? Annoying. No real great targets for him to uh, bounce back, though. So, at least we got that going for us. All right. 23 life. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four. Four attackers. So I would need all of the attackers to do six damage. Can't can't make that happen, unfortunately. Um So let's just go clan caller. Perfect. Lanawar. So I can attack for a lot here. It's a fairy I don't give a crap about on one right now. Okay, so if our opponent doesn't go off, we most likely win here. I don't think the Kethis decks really play Wraths or anything, but what do I know? I've never played Kethis and I don't want to, so. Another Tamiyo. No to Kethis. No Kethis is uh, looking up. And I don't ever have to worry about somebody sneakily playing Nexus anymore. <sighs> Nothing like drinking the pain of playing against Kethis away. That's two Kethi. That's the plural of Kethis, if you didn't know. All right, let's speed it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't look at their graveyard. I guess they didn't have any moxes to start looping and swooping and all that good stuff. Okay, so run it back. That was kind of... Not bad. I mean, my 1-1s one were 4-4s. Four so that's always fun. Didn't get to draw a billion things and play a billion things. But, you know, we got there. We got a game. We're up one. Didn't get ran over like with uh, goblins, but they're on the play now, and that's scary. So one cern, cern turn. I need to sleep more. Anybody have kids? Kids, I have one, one child, and uh, he is a small child, and I'm very tired all the time. Mmm... This is so tempting to keep such a shitty hand just because I have scavenging ooze. And I'm 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 gonna keep it. Let's let's hope for forest. Let's pray for the forest. Damn. Didn't you can't always get there. You just can't always get there. Still want a forest. Still definitely want a forest. We have a scooze though. We got a scooze and they can play a goddamn emery. That's a good it's a good couple turn right there. Oh, this feels so bad. This is so bad. This is like playing... It's basically just like skipping your first turn, you know? Feels bad. Yeah, look at my 1-1. One, one. He's just going like, oh, you good dinosaur? Who's a good dino? It's fair you can just bounce him too. It's just like... Pah. Take your silly little dinosaur shepherd. That'd be a cool job. All right, we hit a land drop. That was good. So now we can go Mana Dork into Shepherd again. Best case scenario, another land scavenging ooze and just like gobble up the graveyard. We got a Kethis. Hmm. So I guess actually the combination of Reclamation Sage with a Scavenging Ooze is pretty spicy could blow it up and eat it in the same turn so here if i'm lucky i draw into a land uh come on land 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 that's not a land oof if i drew a land i could have played scavenging ooze and then had one mana up to eat something important Uh, 
So I guess I just play Scavenging Ooze as it is. <sighs> and hope they don't go off and then hope I have all the man in the world to eat stuff with. They know he's a problem. They know the ooze is a problem. I don't have mana to activate it though, so this turn is not a problem. Ugh. Please no Mox Amber. Didn't hit the Oath of Kaya. That Emery Chromatic Scar stuff. My brain. Chromatic Sphere Little Diddle is very fun. Yep. There goes the Scoozy Boy. All right. What kind of nonsense has to happen here for me to win? That's partially what I want. All right, so. Six mana. Beast Whisperer. Lord. Uh, so I can attack... To fair, I don't want to fairy to bounce Beast Whisperer next turn because that's going to put me behind on mana because I have to recast it. But would I have to recast it to win? Most likely. But I could also activate this next turn. So. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The chances of us surviving this turn are going to be very, very slim. But if we do, we're actually going to have a decent chance of winning. If we survive. Which I don't think is going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so they bounce the Beast Whisperer. Allosaurus Shepherd is still online. That would make us have, I don't know, not quite enough, but close to it. Oh, they have so much mana and they got so much tools here to just start looping stuff. We're an annoying deck. Like, ugh. But you know what's more annoying? Nexus of Fate. It's so much more annoying. So much more annoying. All right, I'm just going to let this, you know, you know, you know the deal. It's not every day your opponent attacks you with Kethys. <laughs> All right, that was a very good draw. So... We got six mana. And we're probably going to lose next turn, so... I don't know what we can even really draw into. Because I can kill Teferi and then just recast Teferi. Tamio's too big to make a dent in right now. Yep, I think uh I think her days are numbered. I'm just gonna uh I'm gonna let this turn play out because I don't think I'm gonna be interacting much. I somehow didn't die. 
Ooh, that was spicy. All right. So, uh, I need to make a lot of mana. So, still can't finale for anything. Not real. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I could finale for scavenging use and then eat two things. That's not gonna. It's not gonna win me anything here. Oh, calm down. All right. Uh, all right. Well, let's continue the field bads here. Let's just draw as many cards as we can. <laughs> I hope we draw into uh, some good stuff here. Yeah, land's fine, I guess. Nope, that's not even... All right. We didn't see, like, an Elvish Archdruid. Or nothing. These finales are... So, I guess I see... What's the one mana? Or the two mana elf you... Is it one mana or two mana? Two mana? Fauna Shaman? Fa fauna Shaman? That's probably... It's probably a good card for this deck, because then you can tutor up your Crater Hoof for way less mana. Because Finale Devastation, you need a lot of mana. And if your opponent is constantly playing Teferis, yeah, they could Urza's Runa's Splash right now and be, be real mean. Yep, alright, that's two Ambers. Good game, bros. Good game. Close. Close. Alright, well, hey, we played against the most busted aggro deck and the most annoying combo deck in the format. So let's uh let's see what else we can do. Let's let's get another one in. <laughs> see if the deck if the deck has legs, I guess, to stand on. What's up, game three? And we might actually have a good opening hand. We've got Atlanta War Elves. We've got two mana. We've got a good three drop to play. We're playing against a Simic and or Bant and or Teamer deck. Surprised. Ooh, and an Elvish Arch Druid. Come on, baby. Good thing about Growth Spiral decks is that usually they can't do much until like turn three or four. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we got Dwine's Elites. If we can draw a land, we can... It's gonna say, it'll be, be a bad time with my opponents. So you got no card draw here. So why is that how you would tap? That's the worst auto tapper I've ever seen. You go one, two, three, play this, then you tap for three. That is so stupid. And that is how you do it. So next turn, if I draw a land, I can attack for 20 with just lords. Oh, they're going to have a sweeper, aren't they? <gasps> Ooh, my big scary elves scared them. Okay, teamer. I assume it's teamer reclamation. I'm just going to go down a limb and say teamer reclamation. Maybe I'll bring in two of these because they usually have some kind of something. That was a terrible sentence. Uh, I guess Elasaur Shepherd almost minimizes the importance of this card in the sideboard. <laughs> I definitely need to rework the sideboard. Maybe I'll bring in Heroic Intervention instead of Shifting Ceratops. Go to two because I don't really know what I'm up against. Go down an Elite, a Whisperer. Go down a Finale. And we're on the draw, so we get on the land. Eh. All right, so not the best compared to last game, but I'm going to keep it. If 
we're lucky, we draw into a land or elves. If we're not, we play a turn two druid and we get on with our lives. And we're not so lucky. I'm just explore cost. Was that one man or two? I'll have to pay attention next time. Man, I'm so happy they made Jumpstart. Oh, it's a Field of the Dead deck. Interesting. No. Maybe I, maybe I actually sh No, I don't want that on top of the deck. God, this is a slow, slow start for me. But my opponent has not really ramped that aggressively. This is turn four for them. And so far, they only have four mana. I don't have a very good board for them to sweep. Okay. Cool. I'm going to start by attacking. Eh? Eh? Ooh, baby. Yes, I would like to take that action, please. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. No. All right, well, that was... That was awesome. That was the slowest, <laughs> the slowest start ever to anything. I'm actually just gonna do this and hold up heroic intervention. What does this need? Seven mana. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. Damn. Calling the shots. Calling the shots. Yes. Damn. Damn to damn damn damn. That felt good. I mean, they're going to be scrying for days here, but. Oh, man. Flame Sleep doesn't even kill stuff anymore. So we just win now? Five, nine. Bring them to one. I'm proud of myself. I took the conservative route. So, I can't kill them yet. They're going to have to dig a lot here. If they find a sweeper, okay, Shark Typhoon. We did it, everybody. We did it. And you know what I'm going to say? That game was won partially because I had some game sense. I had some game sense. All right. All right, look it. We got a pack. We got a Conclave Mentor. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so... Historic Elves. Uh, what do we have to say about it? Number one, it is worse than Goblins. This is not the best tribe in Historic, turns out. Uh, goblins is insane. But Elves is very fun. Um, Kethys, I would say, if you have a good draw, you can win that matchup pretty easily. And I think if you had a sideboard with that deck more kind of in your brain at all, I was not thinking of Kethys at all when I threw together the sideboard. Speaking of sideboard, Shifting Ceratops, although very good in standard, I think in historic, sca um, not scavenging news, Elasaur Shepard kind of just does for this deck what that card did in standard. 
So I think we probably could go down on Shifting Ceratops and go up on something like Tormod's Crypts or just some other utility things like maybe four Reclamation Sages, more Scavenging Uses. I don't know. There's way more stuff. I just, I really need to dig into green and just see what there is. Maybe just go Planeswalkers, go a little bit more mid-rangey against certain decks. Um, Voracious Hydra, again, I think it's too slow to actually make an impact on Goblins. So maybe for Goblins, we just need to go even faster figure out other things like with two toughness that don't die to chain whirler um but yeah against team of reclamation i mean we got answers to the artifacts we can go very fast and beat them and if you're ready for it heroic intervention is a great card so yeah historic elves very fun deck i don't think it's tier one yet unfortunately i think we're still missing that elvish mystic we're still missing that second even if it was like elves of deep shadow and we could do some cool like golgari elves thing just another one mana mana dork is really what this deck needs to completely go off the rails yeah also fauna shaman should probably go fauna shaman over maybe keep one finale in one fauna shaman just you know a little that's a weird card fauna shaman i can't say it very well um honestly though i'm still very impressed by leave the stampede you just draw a bunch of cards and it's it's good so yeah, Historic Elves, tier two, but fun, but fun for sure. Thank you guys for watching.